Hi, I'm Kristen from Montevilla Sewing Center, and have you seen our new exclusive Montevilla Project panel fabric? This one, it makes a fantastic easy tote bag, and right now I'm gonna show you how to make the tote bag. Of course, the instructions are already printed here. Everything you need is on the panel, so let's get sewing. So the first step is to cut out all your pieces and you're gonna cut on right on the edge of the design um, where it meets the white background. You're gonna cut two, whoop, dropped on two handles, your pocket and your tote bag body. After you've cut out your tote bag body, just double check it by folding it in half and matching the blue, where the blue design meets the taupe design. And then trim the ends so that they match. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit off and you'll want, the, want it all to match for your final tote bag. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our pocket. You're going to fold all the edges over, top, side, bottom, other side, a quarter inch and press it really well. And then after you've done that, you'll do one more fold up at the top, um, right where these handy little marks are. I'm gonna press this and be right back. I pressed all the edges of uh, my pocket and now I'm just gonna stitch down that pocket top. I'm using a straight stitch and just going kind of close to the edge. Oh. There it is, all stitched. Now I'm gonna place this on one side of the tote bag. Okay. The instructions tell me to center the pocket on the tote bag about four inches down from the top. I'm gonna to pin this in place and then I'm gonna sew all the way around, again, kind of close to the edge, just top stitching. I'll, back, I'll go forward and back went to lock it uh, where I start and where I end. Okay, so then, so our pocket is sewn onto our tote bag. Our next step is gonna to be to finish the tote bag edges, side, the side seams. If you have a serger, go ahead and serge this long side and this long side. If you don't have a serger, this is a great opportunity to use the over edge foot and uh, stitch on your machine. On this machine, my over edge foot looks like this. It's always gonna be one that's got some little wire thing here that holds your fabric away from the edge or holds your thread away from the edge of the fabric. My stitch is uh, gonna be stitch 11. Your machine may have a different stitch, but it'll look something like that. I'm gonna line up the edge of the fabric with a little guide that sticks out uh, or sticks down underneath the, the foot. Again, your machine may have a slightly different design, but basically it'll have a wire and it'll have a guide. And just stitch that long edge and this will keep, keep the inside of your bag from fraying. Okay. Look at that nice edge. Okay, 
So now we can go back to um, our straight stitch and our standard foot. And you're going to fold your bag in half. And the most important part is that you line up where the blue meets the taupe or beige. Um, that'll just make your bag look a little bit better. Up here, anything that doesn't match exactly will get caught up in the hem. And then I'm going to sew each side seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, which is just the edge of my standard foot. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my iron and I'm going to press these side seams open. That just makes things tidier. I'm also going to go ahead and press the bottom so that I have a crease, which will help me in lining things up to box my corners, which is the next step. Right now, our bag is fine. It would work great, but it's kind of flat here. So we're going to box the corners, which is going to give it a little bit more volume. To box the corners, you're going to match up one of your side seams here with that crease along the center bottom of the, um, of the bag. And I don't know if you can see it real well. And then we're going to measure a line two and a half inches from that point. And I like using a ruler with lots of lines on it because I can line up that line with the seam. And then you see that's one, two and a half inches. I'm going to mark this. And then I'm going to sew right along the line. And it's probably a good idea to pin everything in place. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other corner. boxed corners. You could cut off this excess and maybe finish it with that over edge stitch again or just leave it as is. This is going to be the inside of the bag. And now it looks like it can hold a lot of stuff. So our next step will be to fold over the top edge about a quarter of an inch and then again one inch just like we did on the pocket and sew that down to make the top hem. So off to the pressing station. So we've pressed under about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more to even things out and then an inch. And now I'm just going to stitch along the edge just like we did on the pocket to hold this all down. The body of the bag is all finished. The next step is to prepare the handles. For each handle, you want to press it in half and then press the long raw edges towards that center crease 
and press it in half again. And now we're going to top stitch close to the edge along both sides. This side to hold it all in place and that side just to make it look even. If you have a edge stitch foot with a guide here, that's great. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to use our excellent eyeballing. And we repeat for the other handle. The last step is to sew our handles onto the bag. So working one side at a time. Fold under the raw edge and place your handle wherever seems comfortable to you. Pin it in place. I like to use two pins because sometimes the handle will um, pivot a little bit. Then you're going to bring this handle around and pin it to basically the same, same position on the same side, same, same different distance from the side seam. To hold the handle in place in sturdily, I like to sew across near the top, follow my top stitching down to the fold, across, come back up. If you want, and I'll back stitch a little bit to lock it. If you want to do a nice little X, you're welcome to do that as well. And the same thing for this one. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side of the bag. Now it's going to be easy because you'll put your second set of handles in the same place as your first. So I'll trim any loose threads, but we've got a lovely tote bag, generous enough for a trip to the farmer's market, simple enough for a beginner, and any more experienced sewist out there, if you want to put lining in it or give it a little more structure with some interfacing, it'd be really easy to do so. So come to any of our four stores, get your exclusive Montevilla project panel, and make a tote bag.